But if, here's here's one thing. I, if, this makes sense to me. If you can cancel out gravity in a falling body, and you can even reduce a percentage of the effects of gravity for aircraft, it would take less fuel. They would be more Sorry. efficient, and they could hover with less energy and and that much I can figure out. And the edge, atmospheric edge of the Earth will be meaningless. Mm -hmm. Would you like to see a, a picture of the nuclear powered aircraft? Oh, yeah. What's the date on this one? I refuse to say, but there is the nuclear pile that actually flew. That hunk of junk right there flew? It actually was in the belly, providing. Oh, that was in the belly of that. That's right. It's just like in the belly of a submarine. Providing anti-gravity. So, it's shaped like an aircraft. Well. It's aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> so that we don't think that it's, it's not using its wings. Well, I, you know, I get it. It, <laughs> it has an energy source, okay. I understand. And, and it is staying in the end. And here is... What oh it, my here's God. what it looked like down inside of the protective. It, it was and that's at Area 51? No, no. <laughs> Much closer than we care to admit. Oh, Texas. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, Lockheed's, of the contracts here, was in the paper this morning, $27 billion in the last you know, couple of years. Most of the the majority of the defense contracts are here in Texas with Lockheed. I mean, well, certainly. Much no, no. It, yeah. I, that's why I don't mind having a retirement from them. And here was one of the 